Hey everyone, Dr. Clark here on the Place for Answers. I want to talk to you about the startling connection between statin drugs and the risk of, di of diabetes. Now, if you didn't know this, statin drugs are anti-cholesterol medications. There's like Lipitor and Zocor and a bunch of different ones. And recent information, especially over this past year, has shown that statin drugs increase the risk for dysglycemia, otherwise known as diabetes. So let me translate that for you. When you take this cholesterol medication, many people are given that as some sort of a cardiovascular protective medication. And what it does in a lot of people is it causes your glucose levels to go up, which does what? Increases your risk for cardiovascular uh, events and cardiovascular disease. Now, the people that first uh, that, that studied these things, they've done some meta analyses and they've looked at all this research, and, and there's no way around it. Statin drugs do cause increased blood glucose in a lot of people. And so, information is now uh, kind of questioning whether or not medical doctors should be prescribing statin drugs for diabetic, diabetics because it might be making them worse. Now, if you've seen any of my information on diabetes, um, you know, I look at diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes, as something much more complex than just saying, oh, well, you know, take insulin or, you know, take a cholesterol medication. You've really got to do some digging because what diabetes really means is that your blood glucose is too high, you're insulin resistant, and you can be resistant for a lot of different reasons. And the doctor you're seeing has got to be a health detective, and you got to dig, and you got to figure that out. For some people, believe it or not, it's something as simple as their brain stem is not firing at the appropriate rate so they don't get the right signals to their pancreas to tell them to secrete insulin. For some people it's inflammatory. They've got a GI bug. They've got an autoimmune condition. They've got a vitamin D problem. Those are all things that have to be figured out. For some people they just needed to quit eating crap. For some people they need to go off grains completely. But what pretty much none of these people benefit from, uh, especially from looking at this new research, is from statin drugs. Uh, the research is there. There was a study called uh, the Jupiter study, and basically they found out that there was a 25% increased risk of developing this dysglycemia. They didn't really want to call it diabetes. A 25% increased risk of developing this dysglycemia uh, when you take a statin drug. Now, it gets worse when you do high-dose statin drugs. And why does this happen? Well, there's a lot of different uh, thoughts on this, and we don't really have time to go into all of it, but basically it's side effects. They're not supposed to necessarily uh, have these side effects, but they do. And it's unfortunately what happens with most medications. The real drug trials happen when millions of people in America begin taking them. Uh, the drug trials themselves are pretty laughable, in my opinion, for most of these things. The real drug trials happen. The real lab rats are uh, you and me, your husband, your grandparents, when they take these things, and we find out what they do to people. Now, keep in mind, one of the other well-known side effects of many cholesterol drugs, and about, it seems like once a year they're taking one of them off the market because it you know, causes muscles to dissolve, is it can cause joint pain and muscle pain. And how does it do that? Well, cholesterol medications, primarily, they inhibit, you know, they, they, they inhibit an enzyme that allows you to make cholesterol. Problem is, is you need cholesterol. Cholesterol is made into CoQ10 and all of your hormones. <laughs> so uh, CoQ10 is what you need to be able to make ATP or energy. Every cell's got to have ATP to stay alive. And so if I start robbing you of ATP, cells are going to start dying. And a lot of people, that shows up as joint pain, muscle pain uh, when they start taking these medications. Well, now we know there's another side effect, and that is your blood glucose elevates. And it could be because your insulin receptors become uh, insensitive. We don't really know yet, but the bottom line is there's definite side effects to it. So my, uh, my point about telling you this is that always, always, always ask why. Why is my blood sugar high? Why am I insulin resistant? And if you are not working with someone who can help you answer that question, for God's sakes, find someone. Um, these medications are not as innocuous and not as innocent and not as a uh, cure-all as all the TV ads would like you to believe. The newest information shows that these things elevate your blood sugar, and if you've got diabetes, it could actually be making your diabetic complications worse because they elevate your blood sugar. And elevated glucose is inflammatory. And that's the information I wanted to share with you. Just put on your thinking cap and really, really, really try to, try to find someone who, uh, who understands what I'm talking about.